Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the brand new uh, Evernote widget and we're going to be exploring how it works and also a little bit more of the information around the application. Now before we begin, uh, if you're new here, please do subscribe. It'd be honestly great to have you. We're also writing a lot more on Medium. So if you wanted to check out some of the Medium articles we're writing, you can sign up in the link below and also you get access to uh, Medium's great writing platform, which has thousands and thousands of writers. Um, I'm writing much more often on here about the future of productivity. I think you'll really enjoy it. So as you can see here, uh, Evernote have introduced this new widget, which I believe in professional plans allows you to add it as many times as you want. But very simply, you can drag it onto your home area um, and you can do a variety of different things with it. Now, first off, you can give it a name, um, but obviously we'll choose a little bit later. Um, I can actually do uh, uh, choose a range of different filters. I like the fact that I can choose keywords because I can narrow down a set of notes that are around uh, a specific keyword. Um, I can use tags that I may have created in the past or even more recently. I can even locate a specific notebook too, which is perfect for being able to narrow down uh, even further and also choose what type of media it contains, including addresses, attachments, um, documents, email addresses, uh, integers even, person's names, and also things like completed tasks and URLs. So there's a, quite a high level of detail here. And you can also narrow down when it was created and last updated. So very cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like sort of narrow it down to like uh, finances. So as you can see here, just in this example, I'm going to use the keyword VAT and PDF files. So anytime I've ever created anything like that, I'm just gonna press done. So that's perfect for being able to see the PDFs that I know uh, they're gonna have those filters. And you can even go in and see the results in a notebook view or even edit the filters. The, sorry if the screen quality is not as good. I think the, the way they upload these pictures are a bit uh, bad quality. But you can see here, like, they've got a CRM example. So in this case, it's any keywords that say contact, and it have a tag leads, and that located in the business folder, and that are created in a specific date with tasks not completed. So you could relate it back to somebody you've created for a CRM. Um, I really like how they've done this. Um, they've really sort of stacked this out. Obviously, I think you have to have a Evernote professional plan for this, but they've really stacked out sort of new leads that need action. So you could really narrow it down to um, a set of rules around, um, you know, what actually uh, needs work and have that on your homepage, as well as things like uh, being able to narrow down uh, decisions and sort of themes as well. So you've got revised business strategy and finalized sale. And you can also see, for example, they've got a bathroom remodel and a proposal. So you can sort of balance the work between the two, which is quite cool, uh, being able to sort of have that um, as you go. Um, I'm gonna just scroll down to an example that they've demonstrated for GTD. So this is quite cool. You have an inbox here and you can have a now area here. And I'm guessing they've based that on filters like the inbox um, notebook being selected. And you could even do it um, for a set of days and you could help clear this so that your inbox is empty when you go into Evernote. So actually having um, a GTD orientated experience is actually quite a cool way to do it. So a very neat little feature that you can add to your uh, filters experience and something that I'm definitely keeping an eye on. I think Evernote are actually doing a good job at releasing these. I, I remember they mentioned it in the actual plans, um, but I actually worked out the other day, you can actually max out on widgets. Um, I tried adding like, loads and um, I believe I wasn't able to add any more after that see what I mean um, widget limit reached which I actually didn't know about before but obviously I've got quite a lot of widgets in there anyway so it's probably overwhelming anyway and there's a reason for that anyway folks hopefully you enjoyed this overview of how filtered notes works and it gave you a bit of inspiration about how to use it um, an interesting move by Evernote and something that they're going to probably do with tasks and probably calendar at the same time as well Anyway, folks, I'll talk to you all very soon. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio.